next guest is Chairman for Justice for Travellers in Leeds. Uh, his name is Tommy Collins, and we're going to meet him now. Tommy, you're very welcome. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for inviting me on behalf of Justice for Travellers. You're very good. Tommy, what's Justice for Travellers? Justice for Travellers is a group of travelling people. We set Justice for Travellers up in uh, 1997 at the cause of there was an eviction taking place in Leeds on the traveller site. We looked at the paperwork of it and we seen that it wasn't a nuisance eviction, what the council was saying, but it was a political eviction. There was a, a council officer who had very, very right wing connections. And the first time I'd seen this man, I recognised him from being on uh, marches in, in London in the late 60s, early 70s. And at that time, he was what, if I'm allowed to say it, a group called the National Front in London. Okay. And, but to have this man over one of the most vulnerable groups yeah. within the UK, that didn't seem right. And he wanted his family evicted right. because what the travellers reckon it is that he took a fancy to one of the lassies and she was getting married and he walked into the trailer one morning in front of a whole lot of women and says, Margaret Maloney, the day you marry, sorry, Margaret Connors, the day you marry Michael Maloney, you'll be off this site. She married the man, she got evicted, and then they wanted to evict the man's family. So a few of us set up just as for travellers, but the fight for so social justice. So this fellow had a, a completely different agenda then? In the eyes of all the travelling and gypsy community, yeah. plus parts of education leads, the leads area health authority and other groups felt that this man had a different agenda. agenda yeah. Yeah, yes. Now tell me, uh, with every respect, when people mention travellers, you know, they, they're frightened the life of them, don't they? Why is it that travellers seem to have that effect on, on, on people? What, what is it? It's not that travellers have that effect on people. It is what people have on people. The biggest majority of the settled community in the UK, yeah. we call them different in the Republic of Ireland, you know, yes. we call them country people, right. we call them settled community in England. Right. <clears throat> the most I know about travellers, or I keep using the word gypsy because I represent both communities. Yeah. Right. The only thing they know about travellers are gypsies, it is when an MP goes knocking on the door looking for their vote, when a local councillor goes looking for their vote, or what they read on the national press yeah. or on the national TV. Right. That's the most time anybody right. come directly now, uh, with uh, the travelling community. Would you say that travellers in general get bad press uh, and they don't deserve it? I say a lot of us get yeah. bad press and we yeah. don't deserve it, but I've got to be honest with myself. Yeah. There is some bad travellers, there is some bad... There's bad people yeah. in everybody, isn't but there? The majority... But I, 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 the I know travellers and I know quite a few settled travellers and I have to say that in my experience they are decent living people and I've, I have personally experienced very pleasant people among them and I think what I've found is that if you treat those people right and with respect then you get that back. Is, is that the case? It is because I'm sitting down here talking to you and we'd say to anybody, before you criticise me, come yeah. talk to me. Yeah. Get to know me. If you've still got the same opinion, it's a free country, Fair you're enough. entitled to that. But yeah. So you're saying if travellers are treated properly and fairly, then they will show respect back? Either we're showing it back or not, we still like to think that we respect our fellow man and that. Okay. Uh, because uh, amongst Irish travellers, 99% of them is strong Roman Catholics. Yeah and we believe in our faith. The, besides the fact that we, there have been at times that we've been criticised even by our own church, you yeah. know, but that don't put us away from mm. them. Now, Tommy, your organisation in Leeds, what can you do and, you know, how can people um, benefit from your service then, Tommy? Well, our little organisation is available 24 hours a day. Tommy, do you have a telephone number you can give out? I do. It is 0113 264 8658. Right, and if anybody wants your help or support, you're there yeah, to help. I've them. got an email address as well. Please give the email out as well if you want to. Just as for travellers yeah. at bt 
dot com right. and we're available 24 hours a day where the bigger traveling organizations who is run by the settled community yeah. is only nine to five right but you're there 24 hours a day we're, uh, we're open 24 hours tommy a day. we'll show your details on the screen listen i wish we had more time but obviously we haven't thank you very much indeed for taking the trouble to come in and educating us really a, a bit about the traveling community Thank you very much indeed. I can assure you, Richard, the pleasure is all ours and, and thanks is ours because we often all. don't get these opportunities or well, these invitations. And, and may we say maybe at a later date we'll have you back again to talk a bit more uh, about your organisation and, and how much further you've got. Thank you very Tell much, me, Richard. Thanks very much indeed and good luck to you.